of a negative angle. You're always going to have a negative function except for the even functions, which is cosine and secant. So really, the fact that I'm giving you this problem with this identity is really just there to confuse you. Because secant of a negative angle using the even odd identities is just equal to secant of theta. So really, by me giving you that, it's just really to kind of trick you, see if that can be confusing to you, if you know your identity or not. right? Because all the other identities, this would be a negative. right? All the other ones would be a negative, except for secant and cosine. Okay? Um, now, the important thing is, you know, I showed you guys mathematically. Sometimes we can, we can show this. But again, to like understand how we're going to do secant, like I don't want to look at the unit circle and see when is you know, 1 over y equal, or 1 over x equal to negative 2 squared of 3 over 3. So let's think about this a different way. Beginning of the, beginning of the last chapter, we recognize secant as hypotenuse, that's a D, hypotenuse over adjacent. Yes? So wouldn't you guys agree then that the cosine of theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, which is just the reciprocal of this? Right? And when you rationalize the denominator, you get, um, let's put it down here, you get a negative 3 square root of 3 over 6, which equals a negative square root of 3 over 2. Yes? So we're basically looking for when is the cosine of theta equal to the negative square root of 3 over 2? Right? You could still use this, but note these are the same thing. right? Secant of this or cosine of that. It's the same thing. They're reciprocals of one another. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, <coughs> so to use the unit circle, we've got to think what coordinate point then is going to give us a negative square root of 3 over 2. Hopefully you guys can see on the unit circle that it's pi over 6 is positive square root of 3 over 2. So since cosine is negative in the first and the, I'm sorry, in the second and the third quadrant, we can have our angles are going to be theta equals 5 pi over 6 and theta equals 7 pi over 6. Now, do these two solutions, because they all have the same reference angle, which is pi over 6, do these have, are these equidistant from each other? No, right? So you just have to add 2 pi into both of these. That was for all solutions. And then for b, the only answers that satisfy the unit circle is 5 pi over 6 and 7 pi over 6. OK, any questions on these two? No?